The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, he is one half of the world tag team champions, Chris Jericho. This guy's hot, red hot, and he claims to be the king of the world. And his tag team partner, Christian, did not fare very well earlier tonight against RVD, who will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series along with Jericho. his tag team partner from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 272 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. Here comes Jericho's tag team partner, and these two guys do not get along. And of course, he's being accompanied by his mentor, the 16-time World Champion, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Woo! Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 256 pounds, Booker T. Booker T is one of the most decorated tag team competitors of all time and a former five-time WCW champion. Yeah, but can he win the big one? Can he win inside the Elimination Chamber? That's the question. Weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! You can bet Kane has his sights set on decimating Triple H here tonight. I can't believe Kane would come out here with a big fireball and explosion. You'd think he would have learned as a kid that you don't play with matches.
I must admit, it's a little odd to look at these guys as partners here tonight, knowing that in the Elimination Chamber, they are all going to be against each other. Well, of course, add Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels to the mix. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. It'll be every man for himself, King, and each and every one of them has one goal in mind, to be the World Heavyweight Champion. And there's the reversal. Jericho, the veteran, had that move well scouted. You know, we may be getting ahead of ourselves with all this Shawn Michaels talk, Cole. He still has to accept the invite into the Elimination Chamber match. And with so much on the line, you would assume he would. But then again, we have no idea what condition his back is in. Remember, he's only competed in one match in four years thanks to that surgically repaired back. Yeah, but if he does agree to compete, it'll be his first Survivor Series since 1997. And of course, everybody remembers the controversy surrounding the 1997 Survivor Series and the role Shawn Michaels played in taking the WWE title from Bret Hart. He does it again! Can he follow up? Oh! Another shot with a boot. You know, Cole, the more I think about it, the more I like Chris Jericho's chances at Survivor Series. When the title's on the line, Y2J is at his best. And this is the guy who beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same night. It was December of last year at Vengeance. Jericho first beat The Rock to become world champion, then WWE champion Stone Cold to become the first historic undisputed champion. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. Booker's caught him. Oh, brutal impact. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. When Survivor Series comes and all six superstars are locked inside the Elimination Chamber, Rob Van Dam will be the only one who has never held a world title. Do you expect that to impact RVD negatively once the bell rings, King? Of course it will. There's something to be said about having been there before and the experience that goes along with it. Five other superstars know exactly what it takes to become champion. Rob Van Dam can only assume he knows. You know, Booker T hasn't gotten the opportunities that many feel he deserves to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, he'll have a huge opportunity inside the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series. And you can bet he wants to build momentum heading into Survivor Series. He can do just that right here tonight if he can fend off Triple H and Chris Jericho. You know, not only is Chris Jericho one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but he's also a huge rock star. Well, he says he is. Some people would actually say he's an ass clown. What? <laughs> Now, why would you say that, Cole? You're the one acting like an ass clown. Last week on Raw, we saw Kane defeat World Heavyweight Champion Triple H in a non-titled casket match. You would think that loss is still bothering the game. Well, you left out one key part of that match, Cole. Kane's win only came after Shawn Michaels weaseled his way into the match and delivered sweet chin music to Triple H. Booker T and Chris Jericho have been developing quite the rivalry the past couple of weeks. I remember so vividly in Las Vegas after Booker T won a steel cage match. He had his head busted open at the hands of Chris Jericho. Oh, I remember Vegas, all right. I'm sure you do, King. Did you get your ticket punched? Well, I did find out what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. When are you people going to learn to get over stuff? I mean, Triple H does one little thing to Shawn Michaels, and he can't get over it. And then Triple H makes one funny little bit and said, he's done. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. He drops the elbow. We don't know exactly what to expect when we see the Elimination Chamber unveiled in Survivor Series, but we do know that it will combine elements of war to put your team to the back of the head. He is slowly getting dissected, but for T with a great offensive show. He desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. 
Booker T with a slick reversal. Reversal. Jericho and Triple H are partners here tonight, but you have to wonder how much longer these guys can coexist. Earlier this year at WrestleMania 18, it was the game beating Y2J for the undisputed title. Well, let me just say this. I actually wonder how long Booker T and Kane are going to coexist. They're both going to be in the Elimination Chamber, and they're both a couple of freaks. Booker T and Kane have some integrity. I think they're going to be just fine. It's the guys across the ring from them that I'm a little suspect about. Integrity? Triple H says he's that damn good to win the Elimination Chamber match. And I don't disagree, but a Survivor Series record is something to be concerned about. I agree, King. Triple H has never won a match at Survivor Series. That has to bother the game as he heads into one of the biggest matches of his career. Yeah, and I was one of his partners back in 1996 when we lost a traditional Survivor Series Elimination match to The Rock, Jake the Snake Roberts, Mark Merrill, and The Stalker. We were robbed. Robbed? If I remember correctly, you were the first superstar eliminated from Vintage Booker T. Let's not forget Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship on September 2nd. Oh, I'm so sick of you throwing that in Triple H's face. He's defended it numerous times since then. He's beaten everybody in WWE. Actually, that's not true, Ken. There's a few left. And if you eliminate Ric Flair at a sledgehammer, Triple H wouldn't even be champion today. What? Well, there's no doubt the Elimination Chamber will be special, but I'd argue Chris Jericho is even more special. I mean, he's got so much going for him. He's the king of the world. He's a huge rock star and perhaps the next world heavyweight champion. Clearly, you and I do not Dude. share the same feelings on Chris Jericho. What? Plus, he's not looking so great right now. you got to be kidding me. You have to admit Chris Jericho is cool, Cole. Did you hear how he referred to HBK as the has-been kid? <laughs> And he gets back in. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. You know, I'd like to take this moment to thank Booker T for taking his recent Falls Count Anywhere match on Raw into the Divas dressing room. We really don't get that kind of access enough. Once again, Ken. And this has got to be it. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Man, Triple H, what offense. Scratch that. It's a reversal by Booker. Yeah, nice work by the crafty veteran, but what a move. You know, I'm actually glad Nate's is at ringside. If Triple H is worried, well, look at this. There's the cover by Booker. And saving the matchup was Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho looking for the walls on Booker T. Oh, look out. Top rope came. 300 plus pounds flooring Chris Jericho. And now he takes the fight to oh. Jericho outside. Watch out here. Oh my gosh, Kane into those steel steps. Meanwhile, uh, Booker T and Triple H in the oh. Booker T knocking the official off the apron. And now Booker T with a big kick. That could do it. Triple H flattened by that big kick from Booker T. What's Booker doing now? Well, Booker usually doesn't go up top. Booker T is Triple H. Stepped out of the way. And now Triple H is going to take advantage right to the midsection. Oh Looking boy. The pedigree now. On Booker T. Wait a minute. Shawn Michaels with sweet chin music. Dropping Triple H. The official down and out. You never saw it. The showstopper putting the referee back in the ring. Shawn Michaels just stopped this show for Triple H. Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on Triple H. And all Booker T has to do now is cover the game. Booker T's going to cover the game. Referee the helmet. Booker T has just pinned Triple H. Last week, Eric Bischoff invited me to be a part of Survivor Series. To be a part of the Elimination Chamber match. To have a chance 
at the World Heavyweight Championship. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, the answer is... Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! And Triple H, I can assure you, I'm walking out of the garden, walking out of that chamber match, the new World Heavyweight Champion! Bob Michaels is in, and he's coming to be the world's champion at Survivor Series! With Shawn Michaels stamping his name as the final competitor in the first ever Elimination Chamber, the main event at Survivor Series was set. Six Raw superstars would battle for the World Heavyweight Championship, held by Triple H. Taking place inside the 16-foot-high, unpredictable structure, weighing 10 tons of pure pain. In the past three months, I had beaten everybody that was placed before me, gone through every obstacle. But was it good enough? No, it wasn't. Tonight, inside of 10 tons of steel, I will go up against five of the very best ever. I will walk out still the world heavyweight champion because I am that damn good.